everyone, and welcome back to BMX News, a weekly live BMX news show that we do every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. So we do this live, meaning there's a bunch of people in the chat right now, and I always want to shout out the people in the chat first because you guys literally hang out here for an hour before the news starts, and uh, you deserve it. So we got Kyle McDonald, who's also a member in the chat, Travis Schramm. Stony old fat guy BMX is in here. DFLJ, who was gifted a membership by a uh, whip. Who else is in here right now? Sean Chambers, the scene's not dead. Taco Slurpees, Adam Ortiz. Shout out to Jeff Mead as well. Thanks for being here, everybody. And uh, let's get into the news. The first thing that we have to talk about this week is the Bloom BMX Awards. So if you've been living under a rock for who knows how long at this point, the Bloom BMX is a women's focused BMX website, and they do a awards at the end of each year. And this year, they've announced a lot of the winners of these on Instagram. I haven't seen a post on the website yet. I imagine that's coming once everything is announced. But for now, we've got the Women's BMX Awards winners on their Instagram, starting with Rookie of the Year, Bethany Hedrick. I'm not sure what more to say about a lot of these. Bethany has had a standout year in BMX. I mean, going all the way to Abu Dhabi and then going to the Waffle Cup and killing it and meeting more people, getting put on GT and Odyssey, just absolutely a great year for Bethany. So Rookie of the Year definitely makes sense because she's not a rookie after this year. Next up, Bull Rider of the Year, Paris Benegas. And if anyone... Or not anyone. Paris, if you somehow see this, somehow, I want to do a podcast with you. Respond to my message because I think it would be really fun to talk about things like this and BMX in general, signature frame stuff, and just all kinds of different things I think would be a great conversation. And I think people would be psyched on it. Let me know. People, shout out to Adam Ortiz for that $2 super chat. Thank you. And Kevin Jackson in the chat. So Paris is one bull rider of the year. It makes sense. We've all seen Paris ride. She shreds a bull better than, well, anyone this year, according to the votes. Next, trail rider of the year, Jesse Gregory. I'll be honest, this was the only name that really came to mind as somebody who could potentially deserve this award whenever I was voting for this. I sat and I thought about it for a long time. I'm like, man, who is hitting trails and doing tricks and jesse was the only person that was really doing it that i could think of i know there's more you don't gotta destroy me in the comments i know there's more but jesse was the one that stood out she won so i wasn't the only one then street rider of the year linda grabner this is another one i feel is like stand out somewhat obvious choice for a winner for this one just because of everything that goes on getting put on we the people i think last year but the video came out in february it says went on the bloom vans tour in march was in silent mag and the only woman to ride at simple session that's pretty sick <clears throat> what else was a judge at waffle cup I believe she was injured for a certain part of the year, something along those lines. So yeah, Street Rider of the Year, Linda Grabner. Flat Rider of the Year, Flatlander. Odd, I, I'm going to butcher that name right here. Savage at Flatland, though. I'm the first person who will admit that like I don't know as much as I should about BMX Flatland. But from what I saw in this, and then there was a video, I think a We the People video, something, no, Heresy, that's right. So a uh, Heresy video where it's just top level flatland riding and that's why I voted for this one as well. I think I voted for every single one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these have all been the votes that I've placed except for the racer of the year, Bethany Shriver. But Bethany, let's see, I don't know anything about racing, so I'll be totally honest. But it says, uh, 
first British BMX racer to win the Olympics, but that was last year. Still, though, entered 2022 and checked off even more accomplishments, winning the Bogota World Cup, the UEC BMX Racing European Champion, European Cup winner, having a track named after in the UK, seeing celebrities. That's pretty sweet. So, yeah, racer of the year. Then Park Rider of the Year, Nikita Ducaro. Another one that's like, if you're going to list all of the people who could win Park Rider of the Year for Women's BMX, this is an obvious choice to be on there. So I believe there's a few more categories that have yet to be announced. And you can pay attention to the Bloom BMX Instagram for those. And I'm sure there's going to be something on their website about it. And I wanted to quickly shout out to the uh, animations here are super cool for each of these i'm sure it was beatrice who put those together good job next up we got a video premiering from we the people the house video i'm sure you've heard people talking about this or you've seen something about it online at this point but it is a video coming out it's 18 minutes featuring felix prangenberg jordan godwin dan banks Renato, Ronsco, Steven Atencio, Riley Smith, Fraser Hill, Tom Weikert, Danny Heron, Jordan Waters, and Butch. Filmed over three weeks in London and is premiering at 5 a.m. January 1st the, in the new year. So look forward to that. Put it on your calendar. Tune in. Then we get into the videos that actually came out this week. And we have first a behind the scenes look at Courage Adams doing the Canarias, the truck driver that is just insane. I mean, it's the thumbnail title of this week's video. Like, is this the biggest truck driver that anyone has ever done in BMX? Uh, how does this compare to El Toro and Stevie Churchill trucking that? Is there anything bigger than this one that has been done? I mean, if we look, look at that. Look at that freaking drop. That's got to be you know 15 16 feet and you look at him attempting it and you can really get a sense i mean he's in the air for a full second or more which is wild did not land at first try insane and what i thought was kind of i don't know if i want to say funny but like weird about it was that after he landed it because there was just like families around and people riding bicycles and whatever yeah this truck driver is from 2019 but this uh short video i guess just came out but there was just like normal people around who don't fully understand maybe what's going on so after he lands it it's just like silent not fully silent it's just like the street noise and what's going on and I don't you don't hear any like cheering or anything like that afterwards so it's like I don't know it's a crazy moment of one of the craziest truck drivers in BMX that has ever gone down but the reaction to it at the time was like not really a reaction it's pretty crazy <laughs> Noah's trying to start at length anyways I think Stevie Churchill guy did a big truck driver down El Toro something. That's what I want to know. Does this compare to El Toro? How does it compare to El Toro? <laughs> but Dan Lacey might roundhouse someone out. Well, that's between them. I don't really care. I'm not going to be one-upping anybody who's doing a truck driver ever. Or a 360 down a gap ever. That stuff is insane. And I, I've never even 360 down a stair set. Respect. I forgot Lacey talked about it. Yeah, they talked at length about it. I think multiple different times. Regardless, this is a massive truck driver. I want to know if it's the biggest one in BMX because that's the question in the title and the thumbnail of this video. Is it? If so, let me know because I have no idea. That's bigger than El Toro. Well, is there anything bigger than that? And then when's somebody going to truck driver the Lion 25 set? Next up. Tommy P. Nagy 2022 video. I haven't watched this yet because I'm going to film a BMX React video to this one right after this live stream ends. Tommy P. Nagy is a name that when it pops up, 
I just get stoked to watch the video because this dude's so well-rounded in the types of tricks that he's doing, and I thoroughly enjoy everything, and I watched a couple different clips in here. I got to the, to right here, I got to this clip, and when this one played, I was like, dude, I need to just react to this whole video because I feel like people probably don't fully know who this guy is and I want to show the video, react to it, and talk about it. Moving on from there, BMX Purgatory. This is my edit that came out this past week. I've been working on it for just about two years at this point and I could not be more proud of this video. The concept behind it, Purgatory being that when I'm trying a trick from the time that I think of the trick to the time I land it, sometimes turns into purgatory where it feels like punishment or hell where you're going through it and it's like there's a line where it crosses where it goes from being fun to being like work and it's tough but you still got to get it done because there's that voice in your head that says i have to do it was that hot casey i was wearing a hoodie in this and that hoodie is what kept me from getting hot because they the uh, hair on my hand definitely got burnt where it wasn't, you know, covered by the hoodie. And I had my hood up, so I didn't even notice the heat. And it was the heat of the moment. <laughs> but anyway, there's a lot of stuff in this video that I'm extremely proud of. And some things that I worked on for a very, very long time. The last clip I filmed for literally three days of trying. There's a couple other things that I tried over the years and never landed it. So, uh... Thanks, everybody, also, for the kind words about this edit. Brant needs to repent after this devil edit. <laughs> no, because the clips in this are my repentance, and they are me coming out of purgatory when I land them. Anyways, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Stoked to hear what you think. Next, Eastern Bikes Ohio Getaway Road Trip. A lot of this goes down at this prefab skate park underneath of a bridge. It's actually not in Ohio, I think. I think it's in West Virginia. But the skate park is an awesome park. And they're shredding it. Ben Harper's in here. Anthony Villani. Robbie Taylor's in here. Austin Lacoste. Next. Boom. Cali Protectives welcoming Gavin Ingram. But before we talk about that, there was a question in the chat. Are you going to do a reaction video to your edit and go over some of your favorite clips or the whole thing? I should do that. I'll do that for next week because I already have the Tommy Nagy one that I want to react to. I'll do mine for next week. I think that would be fun because there's a lot of the story behind it. And I, yeah, those jerks went one weekend before we went. I told Robbie to wait. Yeah, he hit me up too. And I was like, dude, we're literally planning to go next weekend. Like, yeah. But uh, back to Gavin Ingram's Welcome to Cali Protectives video. So I've seen Gavin ride at the USA BMX Freestyle Contest that I've been to. He kills it, but it was cool to see this as more of a look into something that you can put a little bit more time into versus, you know, in a 45-second run, you have to throw down right freaking now. And you have you can't crash or anything, so what you do is kind of can be limited. And this is an edit, so you can put time into it, and you don't have to land things first try. So it was cool to see in that. He's riding trails. He's riding different skate parks. Can't remember how much street is in here. There's a little bit of street in here, but stuff like this, you know, alley-oop or 270 whip. It's pretty sweet. Then we've got Dylan Costanzo, 2022 more street focused video who's Av adam banton jeff mead jeff mead's starting crap right now adam banton invented the downside whip how dare you anyways dylan costanzo 2022 check it out more street focused lots of rails in here lots of ledges and then for the flatland people we've got brian tunney's best of 2022 video this is the time of year where all of the best of 2022 videos are going to start to come out and you see which ones get posted on the bmx websites it's always a funny time of year and uh here's a flatland one from brian tunney brian tunney been riding flatland forever and i didn't have anything else flatland wise for this week 
and he's been, he posts videos every single month and this is the best of all of that so then we got work bmx brad gibbs 2022 video this one brad kills it he's a nice dude we were chatting yesterday just a good dude who kills it on his bike and has fun check out the video it's all street or no you know what is it all street i don't want to be wrong yeah pretty positive it's all street anyway he's from pittsburgh check out the video then we've got stress bmx alexi Maltsev 2022 check this one out as well i didn't get a chance to watch it six minutes long almost and as we go here things are getting a little bit longer didn't get a chance to fully check this one out but you should and let me know how it is Ooh, the in and out over pegs back over that's sick so check that one out then we've got colonies best of 2022 as we said lots of best of 2022 videos coming because why not look back at the best stuff that you did over an entire period of time and then put it all together just to see you know in the future or whatever you want to say can't manage people outside of the company casey what does that mean anyways next up yawn subculture hawaii this was talked a little bit about in the uh, podcast that i did with fish this week it's a video where he was in hawaii for a trip and he knew he wanted to film some things and let the podcast talk about what the video is i'm not gonna be wrong about it i just realized i had a total brain fart but it's cool because it's a look at the subculture of bmx in hawaii some of the people there and some of the food in hawaii and it's an introduction to a series that vish is going to be doing for yawn media looking at exactly these things so it's more of an unplanned look at it and then in the future he's going to have fully planned out and like intent or have intent behind them whereas he did this not knowing that he was going to be doing this series quite yet yawn is sweet though yawn is definitely sweet next the product information from this week snm bikes the atf xl and rea levinson so this one has a couple custom features on it like the five inch head tube that is five inches a taller seat post clamp area you have to watch the video to hear for sure all of that information and then a custom colorway as well for rea rea is just an all-around bmx savage killing it in the streets killing it in the parks killing it at the racetrack killing it literally everywhere killing it on dirt jumps such a good dude i've met him years ago and then run into him randomly around the country awesome family just rad dude definitely worth watching and if you're in need of a larger frame the ATF XL might be the one. Then we've got Shapes in the Woods. This is a photo book. It's 88 pages long and it's full color photos from the UK trail scene shot between June and November of 2021 featuring all of these guys plus many, many more. So it's 210 by 210 millimeters, no ads, no filler. So it's only photos, and that's pretty cool. So if you want that, it's linked in the description down below. Boom. Then we got a bike check with Trey Jones, the 12 2022 bike check from Shadow. And uh, there's a little bit of insight in here that I think people will be excited about. The frame is a Colt Trey Jones signature frame sample. I feel like it was obvious that that was going to be a thing. He previously had a signature frame with cult so it only makes sense that he has a signature frame now that he's back on cult and you can go through and see all of the parts that are on his bike let's see if there's any uh any insight here griffin grips finest stem sample the shadow finest stem interesting trey jones signature penumbra seat sample interesting anything else nothing else that i can see here but let's see if we get any pictures that show anything there's the frame 
It's a frame and it looks like either it was painted to look like it was rusted or is rusted on purpose. There's the stem a little bit. Is there a closer look? There's the finest stem. Yeah, that's actual rust for sure. Cool. What about the seat? Oh, interesting. Felt seat. That, that's a shadow seat. Literally, the logo is like, wow. I'm excited to see more of that. So take a look at that if you want to see a little closer. Boom. Carl Pointer, Canode Knows Podcast. We're into the interview section for this week. And the first one is this podcast with Carl Pointer, Bobby Canode, and Canode Knows. I haven't actually had a chance to listen to this one yet, but I definitely am going to. I have memories of seeing Carl Pointer in the 2006 Dirty East Flow Contest video from back then where he does the 180 over that box jump and then just turns his front wheel and he's sliding backwards for like 15 feet and then whips it around and it's just mind-blowing at the time because I didn't understand how it was even possible. Then we have more BMX podcast number six with Vish. Talked a lot about Yawn Media in here. Like everything to do with Yawn Media is in here. We talk about BMX media, talk about potential numbers for like how many people are watching BMX videos or out there available to watch BMX videos and so much more. So check this one out. More BMX number six. Then we got more BMX number seven, this time with Reed Stark. And this has to be one of my favorite podcasts that I have done to date. We talk about so many different things including the cover of his or his cover on the dig bmx 2022 print issue it's the only print issue from dig coming out this year his first cover he tells the whole story of the everything to do with that and the trick when we can see the clip and then we go into talking for probably 20 to 30 minutes about his ayahuasca experience which was so interesting to hear about so cool i just everything about this podcast i loved every second of it and i'm excited just that it happened so look forward to more bmx ha, more more bmx podcasts in 2023 i've already got a few lined up and i'm excited about them then we've got Anthony Napolitan on the Unclicked podcast. I did listen to this one. It is like three hours long. And they talk a lot about trails, his home trail set and how it got shut down. It was cool to hear so much about Ohio in here because Anthony Napolitan's from Youngstown. And there's a whole entire topic list in here talking about Dew Tour, how Anthony Napolitan has a day, which is pretty sweet. They talk a lot about the front flip to fence landing, which you've all seen, as well as riding BMX and mountain bikes, being a trail rider, uh, let's see, staying motivated on both bikes and farting on command. Let's check that one out if you haven't yet. And then I wanted to highlight at the end of this one, that I'm curious to hear from you guys if there's anything from the past or recently or in general in 2022 that maybe I haven't seen that you'd like to see a reaction video to. At first, I didn't know what I was going to film a react video to, but I knew that I really wanted to because I love filming those. I just didn't know what because I talk about these BMX news or I do these BMX news live streams and I watch like all of the videos that came out in the past week and it gives me like takes away opportunities rather to do the react because I only react to things that I haven't seen yet or haven't seen in a long time except for the purgatory one because obviously I made that video but and someone asked for it but I'm curious is there anything from a pro level rider somebody that you'd like to see a reaction video from leave that in the comments down below because the chat is going to go away after the live stream and just want to say thanks for tuning in to not only this youtube channel but bmx news most of you are here every week and 
I appreciate all of you for tuning in, just being here on my channel, and I'm excited to see where 2023 takes things. I've got cool plans in the works, and I've got a lot of travel that I'm excited to do. Swamp Fest is going on, and 2022 is a great year, so this was the last BMX news video of 2022. I'm proud of the riding that I did this year proud of all the videos that I was able to make and I'm excited to grow things with the community of people who are in the chat right now and who are going to comment on this and watch it because we're definitely growing a community I have a discord server where anybody can join and then I have a dedicated like members only section to that for the people who are members in the chat and on the channel and we just talk about whatever comes up in BMX and it's fun and we pretty much are in there every single day in the members one and as the public one grows I'm sure it'll be more exclusive to the members one if people are talking at all times but I just wanted to make everybody aware that there is a public one that you can get into and if you decide to support the channel directly as a member there is a members only discord where you have pretty much a direct line of contact to me because even right now, I've got a notification from it right now in the on my phone. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for a good 2022. And uh, I hope you had a good 2022 and a good start to 2023. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Have a good day.